Hi there, this is George Washuri, your mentor, and uh, as usual, please remember to subscribe on this YouTube, George Washuri YouTube, remember to comment, remember to share, because uh, sharing is caring, and we are continuing the discussions on the power of dreams and why we should chase our dreams, and today I'll share with you three things you must say no to. One of the things you must say no to is what I call dwelling on the past. Yani, your story is about what happened yesterday. Your story is about what happened last year. Mutu wali kukosea four years ago and they see in your mind. No, don't dwell in the past or on the past. You know, say no to it and you can be able to change and pursue and chase. Follow your dream because you are not living in the past. Remember, yesterday is gone. Today is new. Tomorrow is a promise. Don't, fo don't focus on the things that happened 10 years ago, 5 years ago, yesterday. It is already gone. It's actually a waste paper. Today is a newspaper. And tomorrow is a promissory note. You can be able to focus on today to build up tomorrow. Number two, taking it personally when the people judge you. Let me tell you a secret. People will always judge you. So if you follow on every single judgment, you never achieve your dream. Because people must talk. Someone told me that... Uh, the lesser talk about the higher. So if you find people talking about you, that means you are higher than them. So don't go down. Keep pursuing your dream. Keep pursuing it. There are many people who had some big thoughts. I remember this story of uh, uh, Wright brothers, you know, the guys who discovered uh, uh, aeroplane. And when they were talking about uh, something that can go on air to take the missionaries to preach the gospel, someone told them, no, how? How can, you, how can you go on air from one continent to the other? They got discouragement. The fellow, this guy called Ford, you know, one time he told people that he think of something that can run quickly than horses. And in that particular meeting, I, I read a story, people are laughing. <laughs> well, Mr. Ford, are you crazy? You know, how can you think of something faster than horses? That's the guy who discovered the motor vehicle. Today we are traveling all these uh, vehicles because somebody had a dream and he refused to take it personally when the people were judging him. I know most of you get really discouraged. Mutu ameongea tu mambo yako. A little thing and you get depressed, you get stressed. Man, wake up, pursue your dream. They say the best person is the one with thick skin, yani wezu dungwa, and deaf ears. Funga maskio, comparing yourself with others. Hey, I think this is very common to you who is watching you, comparing yourself with others. Let me tell you a story. We are about 7 billion people. And these 7 billion people, they are different. Today we are celebrating this guy who became the Prime Minister of the UK. He's not even from England. I, am, I read stories, the guy has roots in Kenya. Can you imagine? And now he's a Prime Minister of the most powerful, among the most powerful states. This guy, he, he had a chance to compare himself with the other tribes mates, with the other continent mates. But he said, no, I am pursuing my dream. Are you comparing yourself with your brothers, with your communities, with your country? You can be able to pursue your dream regardless of the surroundings. Finally, this is a bonus point, is trying to get approval from everyone. That's a big thing, it's a, it's a big no. Don't try to get approval from others. Don't try to get approval from everyone. Let me tell you, people are busy. They have no time to approve you. So you better pursue your vision. As it is said, write it down, Habakkuk 2.2. Write your vision in big letters, in tablets, so that every day you read it. And once you read it, we'll be able to see you when you're at the top of the mountain. Because what happens when you have a dream, is like climbing a mountain. You're just climbing a mountain. When you're climbing, there are not many people who love you. In fact, many people don't like you. Because when you are climbing, you are sweating, so you are smelling. When you are climbing, you are so tired. The, the, the joints are aching, so many people don't like you. By the time you are at the top, hey man, now you can be seen. And people say, hey, I want to be like so-and-so. I want to be like Joan. I want to be like Shallow. I want to be like uh, John. Because people can see you. By the time you are going up, climbing, it's not easy. Let's make a deal. Climb your own mountain. Pursue that dream. Your mentor, George Washuri. Put your comment there. Just tell me whether you are pursuing it, whether you are climbing the mountain. Just comment there. I will read all your comments. Once again, George Washuri, your mentor. 
See you at the top.